Breaking news from Alabama. Roy Moore did it. Last month, the residents of Alabama voted in a Senate race to determine the future of their state and of course, it was riddled with controversy. Shortly after President Trump appointed Jeff Sessions, the race to fill his abandoned Senate began with both sides of the aisle realizing how important the outcome was. Republicans needed this seat to support President Trump and his agenda, and of course, the left needed this chair to stop it. So instead of Democrats offering a quality candidate, they did what they do best, cheat. Just as Roy Moore began to gain traction in the Senate race, suddenly decade-long sexual abuse claims came bubbling to the surface ending Moore's chance to win the election against far-left candidate Doug Jones. However, Moore stood firm after he lost the election saying the truth would be revealed and it appears he was right. As you know right before the election between Moore and Jones, numerous women stepped forward claiming that Moore sexually assaulted them. Despite the lack of evidence to these unsustained claims the mainstream media gobbled them up and peddled them as the gospel truth. One of the so-called victims, Tina Johnson, came forward during the Senate race accusing candidate Roy Moore of grabbing her rear end in his office in the early 1990s. Johnson described how when she visited Moore's office decades ago to ask advice concerning a custody battle, Moore allegedly molested her in his law office in Gadsden, Alabama. Johnson claimed her mother accompanied her to the meeting, but said that did not stop Moore from grabbing her buttocks. He didn't pinch it, he grabbed it, she said at the time. Of course, many people questioned her story, but that did not stop the rabid left from claiming that she was telling the truth. Well, there is a saying that what goes around come around and it appears that Johnson is experiencing that reality in this hefty dose of karma. He did it. He called up karma and they delivered. Here is more from Al.com. Roy Moore accuser Tina Johnson lost her home Wednesday in a fire that is now under investigation by the Et al. County Arson Task Force. Tina Johnson who first came to public notice for accusing Senate candidate Roy Moore of grabbing her in his office in the early 1990s, said her home on Lake Mary Louise Road in Gadsden caught fire Tuesday morning. After neighbors and some utility workers called 911 shortly after 8 a.m. Tuesday, the Lookout Mountain Fire Department responded to the scene. By the time the flames were extinguished, Johnson and her family had lost everything they owned. I am devastated. Just devastated, said Johnson on Friday morning. We have just the clothes on our backs. Nobody appears to have been harmed in the blaze. Johnson and her husband were at work, and her grandson was at school. That fire is still under investigation by the Et al. County Arson Task Force, said Natalie Barton, public information officer with the Et al. County Sheriff's Department. A suspect of interest is being spoken to. But there have been no charges, to my knowledge, related to the fire at this time. So, now that Johnson and her family are without a home, one Silicon Valley executive has stepped in to help raise money for a new home with the GoFundMe account. Here is more from Daily Mail. Katie Jacobs Stanton set up a GoFundMe page for Tina Johnson of Gadsden, Alabama, who lost her home Wednesday in a fire that's under investigation by arson specialists in Atala County. Stanton, chief marketing officer at Color Genomics, wrote on the page, I don't know Tina Johnson. But I believe her. Tina Johnson bravely shared a story about being sexually harassed by Roy Moore. It has always been dangerous and risky for women, and men, to speak out against sexual harassment. She added, Today, this danger reached a disturbing level. Tina's home burned down and she lost everything. An arson investigation is underway. 100% of these funds will be used to help her rebuild her home. If Tina has insurance that covers the damage, she'll still receive funds from this campaign to help with living expenses and ease the weight of all this. Money won't erase what happened, but I truly hope it will help. Stanton, who previously worked at Google, Twitter, 
and director of citizen participation in the Obama administration, later said any funds raised over and above the cost of rebuilding the home can be donated to organizations supporting victims of arson and or sexual harassment. Now, no one is happy that this happened to Johnson, but there is a lot to be said about false allegations. These women came forward after years of silence and ruined a man and his reputation all for political gain, and yet they are the victims. Hopefully, they do catch who did this to the Johnson family, but also let's hope the truth comes out about her false allegations to exonerate more.